So, hello students. So, this is a question from gate 2023 from uh, electromagnetic theory. So, in this problem, two different independent configurations are given. The first configuration is only having a charge Q, which is of 1 Coulomb. And in second configuration, they are independent. In second configuration, there is a charge and then there is a shell. Okay. So, this is a metallic shell. So, inner radius R1, outer radius R2 and the value of R1 and R2 is also given. And they have given some quantity W, which we know is actually energy stored, electrostatic energy stored. When it is given for all space, that means we calculate electrostatic uh, energy stored in the system. So, uh, they have given this quantity W and they have asked the difference W1 minus W2 and uh, First of all, we will calculate this W1 minus W2. And then they have asked about this quantity 8 pi by epsilon naught W1 minus W2 is equal to 1 by N. So they have asked this value N. And later on, I will tell you that there is a problem with this 8 pi by epsilon naught that I will discuss later on. Okay. So let us immediately calculate uh, the value of W1 first of all. And uh, that is integral epsilon naught by 2 integral. So I will consider that this charge is uh, placed at origin, but I will not take it 0. I will take it some epsilon. And epsilon is a very small quantity. Okay. So this point is just at origin. So epsilon to infinity and then E square, which is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q square. Q by R square square and uh, D tau is the volume which is 4 pi R 4 pi R square dr okay so this integration we have to do so now you can immediately see that W1 will become epsilon naught by 2 this quantity whole quantity will come out it will become Q square by 16 pi square epsilon naught square okay and this will become 4 pi will come here this will become r to the power 4 and r square and r to the power 4 will give 1 by r square and integration of that will be minus 1 by r so it will be minus 1 by r and epsilon and infinity so that's why i put epsilon here so that this term will not blow okay and uh, uh now we can write it as epsilon naught by 2. Uh, epsilon naught and epsilon naught will cancel. And I can write and Q is also equal to 1 coulomb. And uh, this pi and pi will also cancel. And uh, uh, 2 and 2 will cancel and 2 and 8. Okay. It will be like this. And then Q is 1 also. So it will become 1 over. Uh, 8 pi epsilon naught. Okay. 1 over 8 pi epsilon naught. And this will be a uh, minus 1 by infinity and plus 1 by epsilon. Okay. So this quantity also uh, becomes 0 and it will just become 1 by 8 pi epsilon naught into 1 by epsilon this epsilon is simply a small positive quantity very very close to zero okay don't get confused it with the permittivity and if i calculate the value of w2 let us get it so w2 will be also written by using this it will become epsilon naught by 2 and uh, integral so here the field is discontinuous in this region, it is different. Then here it is zero. Then outside, because of the induction, uh, positive charge will be outside also. Okay. So outside uh, field will be given by that positive charge Q. So it will be from epsilon to R1. Let's say it will be going like 1 by R square. So it will be 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q square. Q by R square square 
into four pi epsilon naught four pi r and dr. Okay, this will be small volume. Then in this zone from r1 to r2, it will be zero. So that term will become zero. And then from r2 to infinity, it will be again going like 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square square into 4 pi r square dr. It will become like this. Okay. So uh, when you integrate again, same situation will be created. Everything will remain same like here. All, all the quantity that is coming here will also come here, will also come here. Everything is same because 4 pi is also same outside. So I will write it as this. So the value of W2 will be here. You will get uh, that constant 1 upon 8 pi epsilon naught. The same constant you will get. Okay. 1 upon 8 pi epsilon naught into, so limit, it is minus 1 by r. So what you will get? You will get the upper limit minus lower limit. So you will get minus 1 by r and epsilon to r1. From the first term, you will get this. And from the second term, everything else is same. You will get minus 1 by r. Minus 1 by r into r2 to infinity. So you will get this. Okay. So now uh, I have to calculate the value w1 minus w2. So let us write 1 upon w1 minus w2 is equal to 1 upon 8 pi epsilon naught 1 by epsilon here. Here what you are going to get minus w2. So first term is minus 1 by r1. So you will get uh, plus 1 upon 8 pi epsilon naught r1 from here. And the second term is plus. So that will become minus. So it will become minus 1 upon 8 pi epsilon naught epsilon. So that's why it will cancel. Okay. And the next term is plus here. If you, uh, if you take uh, plus 1 upon 8 pi epsilon naught, you will get minus 1 by infinity plus 1 by r2. Okay. So uh, in the limit, when the minus sign, this will come. So this is minus, this will become plus and this will become minus. Okay. But this will cancel. So now you have w1 minus w2 is equal to 1 upon 8 pi epsilon naught into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. Okay. And r1 is 1 and r2 is 2. So it will be just 1 by 8 pi epsilon naught into 1 by 2. Okay. Now see this carefully. They have done a mistake here. So what we got is W1 minus W2 is equal to 1 upon 8 pi epsilon naught into 1 by 2. So if you cross multiply this, what you are going to get is 8 pi epsilon naught W1 minus w2 is equal to 1 by 2. So which is 1 by n. So if this epsilon naught was here, then you would have got n is equal to 2. So uh, during the formation of the question, they made this mistake 
that epsilon naught they have put in the denominator. Okay. Otherwise, it was a good question and you can see the solution. Okay. But they have done a mistake here. So epsilon naught is in the denominator. So there will be no sense of calculation of n. Okay. Thank you.